What's going on shady people? Shady Penguin here bringing you episode 2 to my Pokemon Y Let's Play. Uh, last time we started going through the first forest and Red Skirt gave us a Pokeball and that's where we left off. So now we're going to finish our way through this forest and hopefully make our way to the first gym leader in this episode. Definitely hoping that we can have our first badge before this bad boy ends. My opponent is sending out Pikachu, which I... Listen, alright, we're gonna address this right now. I never really truly hated Pikachu. However, the fact that it has its cry and it says its name, and not a single other Pokemon does that in this game, it really does grind my gears. That is one of the qualms I have. I understand why Game Freak and Nintendo did such a thing, because Pikachu is the face of Pokemon, and blah blah blah, and he paralyzes me with a Thundershock. Um... I understand. I just don't like it. That's it. I just don't like it. But alas, can't change a dang thing about that. Well, something I did want to touch on right now, it didn't happen right now, but it might have just been really terrible luck, but when I was playing Pokemon X a couple hours ago, and I got paralyzed the first time I was ever paralyzed in the game, I had five turns of fully para. There's, there's one of them. I had five turns of full para. And I was just like, what?! Five turns? You want to got to three, I was getting pissed. And then when I hit four, I almost threw my DS across the room. And there's a second one. I think, I can't confirm this yet, but I do think that Game Freak increased the rate of full para. Um, I don't know yet. I, I, like I said, I have no numbers, but in my experience right now, full para is much more common, which when it comes to competitive, paralyzing is going to be huge, which means that electric type Pokemon are going to be huge. So, which means ground type Pokemon. It's just the meta's gonna be, I just can't wait. I just can't wait. I need to have a Wi-Fi battle with someone. I actually might be able to have a battle tonight. No, I won't. Nope, 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 nope. And by tonight, I mean today's Friday, uh, the 11th. So it doesn't matter. I'll have a battle soon with one of you guys once, um, once it's live. Whoever's online when I'm recording an episode, if our friend codes are added, I will battle you. And that ha that's how I'll start out one of the episodes. That's what I've decided. We're battling this girl now. Last Lisi, Lysi, Lies, Last Lies, Last Lysi. I don't know how you say that girl's name. We're gonna lead with Nickaboo, and he's got, she's got a Weedle, so we are fine. We can use Quick Attack. I really need Nickaboo to learn like a flying type move, so we can take on the gym leader with no problems, because that would be extremely helpful. Come on, Quick Attack it up, Quick Attack it up. Actually, you know what's what's exciting is that there's a route, um. It's kind of like in the first gen where the, the last route is kind of right there available and same thing how in gold and silver when you could go up into that building and the last route's right there. This is the same thing in this game and we'll probably explore that route in this episode. We might not, now that I'm thinking about it, we might not fight the gym leader in this episode. Because there's a lot more exploration I want to get done. So that will be that. And I, I really want to use the cub Pokemon, the fire cub Pokemon, like his name, its name slips my mind right now. But the only thing that, that stinks is that it'll be another fire type on my team and I've already I've already got one and I'm not one that really likes to double up on types. Then again, if I like the Pokemon enough, let's just say screw it and do it. We just found ourselves a Pokeball tucked into the corner of the forest. And don't forget that, that Pink Top right here, Pink Top will heal you whenever you desire. She'll just massage those Pokemon's tired feet Pokemon's, that's good English. Pokemon's hired feet. Huh. Now, now, now I'm questioning. Pokemon, Pokemon's. Let's let me Pokemon. Um, let's see what we got. I'm still desperate to find a shiny. There we go, it's a pan power. I'm desperate to find a shiny. I mean, seriously guys, if it ever happens in one of these episodes, I'm, I don't know, because I'm going to scream and I might drop my 3DS and it might just ruin the recording anyway, but hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully I can manage to keep my uh, girlish qualms on the inside and uh, not have those issues. Oh man, I'm just glad to have this. I hope some more of you guys, I mean, by the time you're watching this is being uploaded, it is now 12 in the afternoon on the 12th, and I hope more of you guys have this game and have left me your friend codes. Oh, it's a Metapod. Um, because it'll be so cool just to be able to do things with you guys, battles, trades, whatever. Wonder Trade. Wonder Trade is an interesting feature I wanted to talk about. And by interesting, I mean kind of, I don't know, just random. You can basically send a Pokemon for trade. 
and not know what you're going to get back. So you can trade a Caterpie for a Moltres, even though I doubt anyone's sending a Moltres out through Wonder Trade. But it's basically like, oh, let me trade a random Pokemon to get a random Pokemon. Or you can trade an amazing Pokemon to get a crap Pokemon, or a crap Pokemon to get an amazing Pokemon. It's just something really weird. Pretty random, uh, pretty random feature that Nintendo decided to add, or Game Freak, rather. But we, it looks like we finally are out of the forest. I mean, I am the first to arrive. And I do have a lot of potential. Thank you for noticing that. And of course, he's dancing away. Tierno just cannot stop dancing. He reminds me of, I don't know if any of you guys played the Battle Network games. He just reminds me of uh, your best friend in that game. He like looks almost exactly the same. So we're all going to walk out of the forest together because we're cute. And that's what really good friends do. We leave forest together. Over way route three. Well, I'm gonna look for Pokemon. Um, that's for dang sure. That's the thing that I want to do. I actually just want to get to the gym leader, but not before I check out that last route. I'm trying to think what number of route it is. If it's like thirty something or twenty something, I'm not entirely sure. And she's gonna give us ten tips right now. I've honestly never looked at these tips, not even in my personal play. I really, I'm not too interested in what they are. But I guess right now, since we're doing this together, we could take a gander at what they might be. Let's see. Bag, key items, uh, adventure rules, use. Let's see what we got. We got, I open the adventure rules, open the menu. Okay, so it's really a bunch of poop. It's just a bunch of, bunch of little poop that we all know. Buy more items than you think you need, that is a fact, because you like to be broke. I guarantee you that her parents are freaking shop owners, they just want you to spend all your money. Mommy told me that I should battle anyone who greets me. I really like this kid. Alright, Mommy told me I should battle anyone that greets me. So your mom taught you that when a complete stranger walks up to you, you need to battle them. So he starts out with his Caterpie. Now what I like about this kid is what he says after he loses. I think it's this kid. All I remember is that it gave me a little bit of a chuckle when I first saw it. Um, I still, come on, I really need Peck. I'm pretty sure Nikibu is stronger than my starter by now. I don't know why I'm favoring Nikibu so much. I, I don't understand it, actually. I've never done this before in any game I've played. Oh, no, okay, they're at the same level. Well, I'm going to switch out into King Koopa. As much as I want Nikibu to learn Peck, I don't know what level it learns Peck. So there's no point in me just pushing and pushing and huffing and puffing. Here we have the fairy type Azumarill. We can use Rollout just because why not? And look at that. Well over half. Oh, it's a critical hit. But it'll still be a two hit KO. Because Rollout's damage increases with each turn of successive use. If you didn't know that. And if you did, well, just, just deal with it. Deal with hearing it for a second time. King Koopa gained 31. Didn't level up though. That's a shame. Mommy told me to be polite, especially when I lose. I don't know why, but I thought that was pretty hilarious that it's especially when I lose. You can be polite. You don't have to be polite when you win. You can just be like a bragging, show-off D-bag, but it, when you lose, you gotta be kinda nice. You gotta be, uh, gotta be pleasant. Pleasant to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Alright, we got a Pichu here, and I think that Nikibu is still out front, so that kinda sucks. But I'm gonna say that Nikibu could take on a Pichu. Pichus are weak and frail and pieces of crap, so I'm pretty sure... Nikibu has this one in the bag. I really still can't get over, like, as I'm watching the background of the battle, seeing the gra the wind blow the grass up. It just, oh my gosh. You guys, it doesn't, it doesn't hit me. I've probably logged, like, between, like, somewhere around 12 hours between both games, and it's still just, it's still so amazing to just, oh man. Oh. All right. Nikibu gained 43 experience. Yes, you did lose. You and your Pichu lost. Please do not cry about it. There's no reason to cry. Uh, let's see if I can get to a Pokemon Center right now. Nope. Okay, coming through. That was pretty freaking rude, girl. And this is actually what the uh, trees look like now. The ones that can be cut. Prickly thorns all over the place prevent you from cutting it. I don't want to battle you yet. I want to go heal up. Because Nikibu is pretty weak. I love that. You see how he bent over to talk to the little girl? I went to Pokemon Center because I was asked to buy Pokeballs. Like, I like how your character now, like, bends over because the... Uh, because there's more detail then. Now that it's a 3D game, you can see the little detail that Game Freaks probably always wanted to add. Um, it's just it's just pretty cool. So Tierno is just telling us, hey, listen, you can get healed at the Pokemon Center. 
and that when you catch Pokemon, they go on the PC if you don't have any more room. The things that we all know, the things that we need to know, though. And something I like now when you talk to Nurse Joy, depending on the time of the day, it changes her dialogue. But yes, I would like to heal my Pokemon, I guess because this is uh, the afternoon that I'm recording this. It's just hello and welcome. Before when I was playing, it was good morning, and last night when I was playing, it was good evening. So I kind of like that. That's pretty cool. In the Pokemon Center, you can use the fitting room, but I don't have any extra clothes right now that I want to change into. Nothing uh, that I actually want to wear. I have. Br I think you get. You start off with brown pants, but I think the blue pants look a lot better. So I'm gonna be wearing those. But here you can buy some uh, new clothes. But the only thing I like is that black cap with the red feather, and I think it's like 3,100. No, 20. Yeah, it's 3,100. I only have 2,100, so I cannot buy that yet, unfortunately. And this is why money is so important in this game, because you get to dress yourself up. And nothing's more important than uh, being your own self and being unique. Alright, I really need um, the rollerblades. So this is where you get the rollerblades, guys, because I'm tired of just walking. Um, it's funny, now that they start you off with the quote-unquote running shoes, you just want these rollerblades as soon as possible. So, hey stranger, isn't cruising around town on your roller skates the best thing ever? I don't own a pair, but if I beat this trainer, I can get a pair for freezies. So we're going to battle her right now, steal her roller skates, pretty much knock her unconscious and take them off her feet, and um, see how this goes. She sends out a zigzagoon, and I, of course, start off with Nickaboo, and we are going to, oh, level 7, that's stronger than I thought it was going to be. Let's use, let's just use Tackle, I think I'm faster anyway, there's no reason to use Quick Attack, because Quick Attack is weaker than Tackle, and I want to kill this zigzagoon so bad that... I'm gonna kill it right now. And yeah, the roller skates are really cool. Uh, when I started playing, I've always used the directional, uh, not the directional pad, I'm sorry, the thumbstick. And that's actually how the roller skates work. If you use your thumbstick, then, um, yes, Nicky Boo learned Peck. Um, if you use the thumb, thumb pad, I should say, not thumbstick, thumb pad, it automatically activates your roller skates. And if you use the D pad, it will hop off your roller skates and you can just walk around or run around by holding down B. But I obtained the roller skates, and it's just so much, just look at this, look at how much faster, and how glorious it is, it's just absolutely beautiful. Let's see. Alright, come on, just stop, let me, let me, let me run around. You see that? Oh, look at that speed! Look at that! Alright, so now what we're gonna do, actually, is we're gonna go up here, and this is Route 22, Detorner Way, Detorner Way, and there's a couple people to battle up here, and there's a couple Pokemon up here, and I believe... That the lion club, the lion cub that I so desperately want, is up here. So she's gonna send out a Psyduck. I wonder what level this Psyduck's gonna be, because to be honest with you, I did not check out this route in my Pokemon X. Um, let's play. My girlfriend actually told me, she's like, "Hey, did you go here?" And I was like, "No crap, I didn't." And she's like, "That's where I found the lion cub you wanted," and I was pretty pissed. But I'm, I can't go all the way back now, so I'm just gonna be able to live my lion cub dreams out in this let's play. But let's just take care of this Psyduck. Dang it. I really thought maybe I could get uh, min-max damage or something. Nope. I kind of do want a Psyduck too. I think a Golduck. Oh, I can't wait to see what Golduck looks like in this game. Oh my gosh. There's just so many Pokemon that I want to see in the 3D model. So, it's going to be so amazing. Oh my gosh. Litleo. Wait, isn't that... Isn't Litleo? Yeah, Litleo is the Lion Cub. This is who I want. Oh, give her to me. No! Even though I want the... Um, what if you guys heard that bird? My window's open, and that was an insanely loud bird. Um, wow, you just critted me, Litleo? Are you kidding me? I told you I want to capture you, and you're going to crit me? Some bullcrap. Some serious bullcrap. Ember is not going to do much damage at all. That's actually surprising. I wonder why Ember did so little. I guess Litleo's a physical attacker. I ah, needed a swig of water right there. Nickaboo gained 111 experience points. Now Nickaboo is very far ahead of King Bowser, uh, King Koopa. So we are going to have to um, switch them around so that Nickaboo doesn't destroy King Koopa in the leveling adventures of Shady Penguin. So let's see. Right about this time is when I would normally do an intermission. However, I'm actually going to attempt to not do an intermission. I'm sure I'll regret it when something goes wrong with the recording. But I am going to not do an intermission. Ooh, a Psyduck. And you know, I would want a Psyduck. But I don't because I'm choosing Squirtle as my Kanto starter. 
Why am I choosing Squirtle? Because I want a freaking Mega Blastoise. That's why. Because they're freaking beautiful. And those cannons and just, I just, part of me, I, I would go with Bulbasaur, but I have Chespin, so obviously I'm not gonna. And I would go with Charizard, but everyone and their mother is going with Charizard. Um, so I want to go with Blastoise, and there's nothing you can do to talk me out of it, man. It's gonna happen with the next two episodes. It's gonna happen. So we just gotta clear this route out, um, with a couple tra of these couple trainers. Actually, you know what? Really quick, if you guys want to leave me a comment down below, let me know if you think that I should maybe speed through these battles. Like, I would obviously not be able to speak over them, and it would just be like, like clearing out a route. I would just make a uh, session of me clearing out a route with music behind it, kind of like a grinding session in past LPs, but it would be just the route sessions where I just clear out that route of trainers. But me personally, I don't think I want to do that. But if you guys think it'll be a little more entertaining, help us get through the game a little faster, then by all means, make that your plea. That Marrow went down in one shot, even though it's fairy type. Your fairy typing's not going to help you, Marrow. Not against this King Koopa growing to level 11. Looking real good. Wanted to learn Bite. So let's get rid of Growl. Because, let's be honest, when am I ever going to growl at a Pokemon? I can't think of a situation where I'm actually going to growl at a Pokemon. Can't think of it. Goldeen, Meryl, I'm so sorry. She's going to run back to the Pokemon Center, she says, but I guarantee you she's going to stand right there. She's not going to run back. Look, she's standing right there. What a terrible trainer. She's a, She lies to them, too. She, not only does she let them die, but she lies to them. Let's, uh, let's battle this girl. Oh, she doesn't want to battle. The trick to qu quickly raising a lower level Pokemon is to keep it in the top left spot of your party and then switch it out. So they're telling you right there what you got to do. Let's talk to this chick. I was the biggest fan of Gracie. I never talked to these people because I didn't play. I didn't go to this route um, on my Pokemon X playthrough that I'm doing right now on my own time. So I do want to talk to all these people and say, hey, what what's going on? Do, uh, do, uh... Do you got anything for me? You got any money? You got any food? Got any uh, snacks? Let's use Rollout because it's part Steel and I think that Rock is too- Nope, nope, nope. It's the other way around. Steel is super effective against Rock. And there's one of those situations where I think I know something and then I don't. Because it just flipped them around. It's like dyslexia Pokemon typing. That's like the worst, that's probably the worst disease that a competitive Pokemon player can have. Where you're constantly just, oh yeah, you know, fire super effective against water. And then you just do it, and then you lose the tournament, and you're extremely upset. And Riolu is probably just going to kill- Nope, I get to go first, that's right. <laughs> that rollout worked out fantastically, and by fantastically I mean just barely worked out, considering how much HP I lost. Brought me all the way down to 14, and he'll be sure to learn from this defeat. I'm actually determined to beat the gym leader in this episode, so that I can show you guys the EXP share. Go, go, Benelby, 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 Benelby. I like that Pokemon, actually. I really like Benelby. I kind of, I'm still, like, debating, like, should I get one? Shouldn't I get one? I don't know. But uh, I don't think I am. There are a couple other Pokemon that are taking, um, higher priority over this cute little bugger. Let's go with Vine Whip. Just for that stab, and hopefully we can take it out. Oh, that's got to be a critical hit. Beautiful King Koopa, putting in work. Doing what you gotta do. Not leveling up though, you're slack a lacking right there. I just really wanted you to get to level 12. Honestly, not that anything special happens at level 12, but let's see what we got. Oh, there's a train. Oh, I didn't want to jump over that. Come on. What is this? I got a super potion. Super potions are everywhere in this game on the ground. They're literally lying around just everywhere. All right, another hop. So what we can do actually, let's go heal up. And then we gotta finish clearing out that route. Before we challenge the gym leader. Actually, I'm looking at the time. We're 20 minutes deep. Hmm, maybe we should just... No, we're not going to challenge the gym leader yet. We ain't We ain't about that life. That's for dang sure. So Nurse Joy will heal us up nice and tidy. And actually, from these trainers, we might get enough money so that we can afford the luxury of that beautiful black hat that I want. And that would be fantastic. Ooh. Let's go back to Route 22. And when you're uh, walking with your roller skate, you can hear that like high-pitched whir sometimes. That's basically just like you quickly moving in a direction with the uh, thumb pad. Not just holding it. You get a short sprint for about, I think it's about three seconds. 
and then he slows down again. And then you could just re uh, re tap the thumb pad in the direction you want to sprint towards. So this trainer is using a Flabebe, the famed fairy type, and we're gonna see. Wait, this fairy? No, fairy is resisting against. See, fairy is something. That's a typing that I do not know at all. I know that it doesn't resist grass, but I was trying to figure out if it resists dark. I believe it does. Um, I actually want to find out really quick so I won't forget this moment. I think that it resists dark. So let's try it. Either that or it's weak to dark. No, it resists dark. Okay. That's what I thought. And Flabebe is going to use Vine Whip. That's going to do all of 1 HP. Holy crap, this thing is way too strong. I got to run away. I really wish I could run from a trainer battle in this scenario. So down goes that Flabebe. And we're doing... We're just moving right along. We're in pretty great shape. Um... I think my dog just barked in the background, but I'm not going to let that get to me. Because who knows if you guys even heard it. You guys might not have heard it. I have no idea that I have a dog. It might be a chimpanzee for all you know. Alright. So let's not hop over that, but let's talk to this chick. Does she want to battle? See this small ledge right next to me? You can jump over it for a shortcut. I already know that. It's a one-way trip. I learned that the hard way. So, okay. So this is probably uh, Indigo Plateau. So we're not going to... Well, leads to Victory Road, I should say. Let's talk to this little guy and battle him. You know what this is, right? Yeah, I do, man. You're just lucky we're not in any sort of wooded area or I murder you. So he's going to start out with a Pidgey, and I think that... Do I have... No, Nickaboo's not in the front anymore. King Koopa's in the front. And I'm kind of regretting the switch that I made. But let's just use Rollout, because Rock is super effective against flying. I actually know that for a fact. So that's kind of exciting to actually know one thing during your own Let's Play. That's, that's exciting. Oh, man, I hate Sand Attack. Before, when I was playing Pokemon X, I ran into a horde of Scraggies, and all they did, four of them sand attacked me, and one of them leered me, and then they switched. Four of them leered me, and one of them sand attacked me, and then they all low kicked me and killed me. It was ridiculous. It was like the coolest thing I had ever seen in my entire life, and also the most annoying thing in my entire life. And I decided to stay in just because, okay, never mind, Metapod avoids the attack. I was going to say I decided to stay in because Rollout would definitely have killed due to how much, um... How much it had already gained from being used in succession, but unfortunately, this player is too good and his Metapod knows how to dodge rollouts. I've never seen a Metapod dodge anything in my entire life, but fine. Fine, dodge rollout, I don't care. No skin off my chest, Ben. <laughs> uh, Alright. You have lost, and it does devaluate your Pokemon because they suck. How about that? Your Metapod needs to uh, evolve already and be a Butterfree so you can let it go like the famous Trainer Ash. That was like the one Pokemon he let go that was actually like not terrible. Like letting his Charizard go, yeah, that was a big mistake. Putting him in Training Mountain, that was god awful decision. Terrible. No wonder why I never listened to you. We're actually, yeah, we're gonna kill this. We're gonna kill this Ben Elby. Ben Elby. Ben Elby. We'll just kill it in one shot. Hopefully, gain a level. And I really wanted to find a, a Litleo over here. I thought that I would be able to, but I guess not. I mean, I don't think my girl would have lied to me about a Litleo, because she knows that I would rip her head off. <laughs> She's laying down right now. Oh, nope, that's a bit of, that's not a Litleo. I got a little excited, because that silhouette kind of looked like it could have, might have maybe been a Litleo, but it wasn't. So I think we're just going to let this dream go for now. I really want one, though. Like, really bad. Oh, but then we'll have double fire type anyway, so you know, we'll let it go. We'll let it go for now. Maybe in the future... Um, if one of you guys want to trade me a Litleo, why don't you, by the time you have the game, catch one and send me a comment with your friend code, and I will give you something for a Litleo, because I am too lazy right now to search this thing out. Plus, it would be kind of cool. You can nickname it whatever you want when you catch it. You don't have to train it or anything. Just catch it. I don't care if it's at level 2. And no matter how far I'm in the LP, by the time you see this and send it to me, I will do a trade with you. Um, as long as you're online, when I'm online. So let's heal up real quick, and then let's start heading into the gym... We're going to have Nickaboo out front. Actually, you know, we're not even going to heal up. Because Nickaboo's at full health. And to be honest with you, Nickaboo should be able to smoke this whole gym. He should have no problem. I like the little, uh, that's why it's got quiet. Because I like that l the little movie scene that when you walk into a gym, it just kind of shows you completely pointless things. Because right now we're upstairs. And I'm not a huge fan of this guy. Like, normally I like, like, I think that third generation had my favorite, um, gym introducer I guess I would call them I'm not sure what to call them the butler of the gym but this guy I don't know man he just kind of freaks me out that little bow tie and those closed eyes it's just a little weird and he's got a bowl cut I don't know 
He's not a huge fan. It's like the one design flaw I see in this game. Everything else is perfect and beautiful and right. We're going to actually, in this gym, what you want to do is you want to follow the bubbles. They made it dummy proof, where if you follow the bubbles, you will get to the gym leader. But I like to sidetrack and battle all the trainers in the gym leader, in the gym leader, in the gym for that free EXP. And you know what? There's something I got to show you guys back in town I just remembered. Um, there is a house where you can trade for a far-fetched. And if I wasn't using Nickaboo, I would definitely get a far-fetched. But I'll show you guys that house um, probably at this point, probably next episode. And we'll just continue on our way next episode. But for now, we're going to try our best to get through this gym in one piece. Nickaboo actually broke through confusion, which is one of the first times I've ever broken through confusion on the first try. So that's absolutely fantastic. Nickaboo gains 112 experience. That's only half a level. Man, I was expecting a little more experience than that. I really wish I had a lucky egg, honestly. Lucky Egg would make this so, so enjoyable. We're just going to keep trotting along this spider web. And just follow the bubbles. Follow the bubbles. That bubble didn't look like it fell over there. But now we're going to battle this trainer right here. And then I believe there is one more trainer after this. And then the gym leader. Youngster Zachary wants to battle. And sends out Spupa. Spupa! Oh, something I didn't, I didn't do in this episode. I didn't go over the... Uh, EV training, super training. But it's alright. I don't think you guys really want to see that. If you do, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to do it as soon as I see the comment. But uh, maybe I'll make a separate video for it. It won't be part of the LP, it'll just be super training. Pokemon X and Y super training. And it'll be a tutorial on that. That sounds actually like that sounds like a plan to me. So that's what I'll definitely do. Nikki Boo's gonna take this pupa out. I actually really like the design of Spupa. I like the uh, the white as it's starting to grow coming around. I like the different colors on it, the pink and the yellow. It's because it just looks so cute. Oh man, I'm going to regret doing that when I hear that post recording. Um, I do evolve quickly too. I am like a bug Pokemon. I evolve quickly. We have just a couple minutes left. I think we'll be able to take on this gym leader this episode. It looks like we'll be able to. I did get caught right in your spider web, winky face, and I don't mind the way it feels. <laughs> uh, Alright, she sends out Kakuna. That's not a big deal. Um, my girlfriend's shaking her head right now. <laughs> um, Alright, let's use Peck and kill this thing. Because I think two shots, because Kakuna's got that high defense. Nope, one shot. Oh my goodness. Either I was overestimating Kakuna or underestimating Nickaboo, and for that, I apologize, Nick. Combi. I really love Combi. Combi's one of my favorite, like, random Pokemon that, like, there's no reason for me to like it, but I just do. It just, it's so well designed. It's just so nice. All right, so down goes that Combi to, with a one peck. Nickaboo is literally just going to take this entire gym on. So let's use a potion real quick. And we can end this episode by getting our first badge, which is actually exactly the way I wanted this LP to play out. Let's do it right now. Here we go. We're going to, a, a, not really a cutscene, but a little bit zoomed in. That determined expression, that glint in your eye that says you're up to the challenge. It's fantastic, just fantastic. Is this your first time challenging a gym? Fantastic. Whether it's the tears of frustration that follow a loss or the blossoming of, a, of joy that comes with victory. They're both great subjects for my camera. So she's basically saying, whether you win or lose, I'm taking your picture and hanging up on my wall. That's uh, that's pretty darn rude. I don't, look, she just snapped my shot. Oh my gosh. Now they got this tribal music in the background. Actually, I really like this music. I actually just wanted to be quiet real quick. I've been shaking my head because that bass kick, you hear that. I love the fact they were able to do so much more on a 3DS uh, music-wise. It's because the system specs can handle it. All right, so she starts out with the Sir Skit. And we're just going to peck that thing away. Bubble is not going to do too much to me, I don't believe. Yeah, what is that? 7 HP? That's pathetic, man. It's absolutely pathetic. Peck is going to do over half. That's a 2 hit KO. And your Sir Skit is not low enough to force the gym leader to use a potion. So that was best case scenario right there. If it would have gotten a little bit lower, then you would have used the potion, and we would have had a whole extra turn, and we're not about that life right now. We're about just getting our first badge and being on our way. Now, some of you guys might be thinking, I mean, an hour is a pretty long time to get your first badge. 
maybe a quarter. I'm not really sure. For me, it doesn't feel like it's a long time. That feels like about the right amount of time to get your first badge. But the amount of time between your first and your second badge is a pretty long time. I only know if I'm playing Pokemon X, but it's going to be like a few episodes before we get our next badge. Spoiler, spoiler. But there's that's only because there's so much to do in between, which I actually really like. It's not just like blaze through the gyms and get to the Elite Four and win. It's like there's just so much going on, whether it's new Pokemon stories, lots of trainers filling the routes. It's just absolutely fantastic. That was actually the new move, Infestation. It's basically the bug version of Fire Spin. It prevents me from, from switching out or running away, and it also does damage every turn. So I'm kind of hoping... Okay, now she's using Harden. I was going to say I'm kind of hoping that this will be a three-hit KO, but now with Harden, I would need a crit on my third shot. And this is going to be frustrating because... Now she's going to get low enough to use to use a potion, and it's just ugh, it's just not a good time. Actually, Nickaboo, oh, Nickaboo just got critted. Oh, we just, is that a crit for crit? Yeah, it's a crit for crit. That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. What a way to get your first badge. Absolutely perfect, Nickaboo. I give you, I would give you all the things that I have if you were here. Look at that. That's like a full level I just got from beating that that, uh, that last Pokemon. You and your Pokemon have shown me a whole new depth of field. Fantastic, just fantastic. I got 1920, which means I am buying that black hat without a doubt. Young trainer, you. No, it wasn't you alone. You and your Fletchling have shown me a whole new depth of field. Fantastic, just fantastic. And there's our first badge, ladies and gentlemen. I am absolutely pumped that this Let's Play is going exactly how I wanted. With that bug badge, Pokemon up to level 30 will listen to your orders in battle. Yup, even if you get them from trades. And here, this TM commemorates your win against a pro Photog like me. And she actually gives us TM83, which is Infestation, the new bug move that she had used on us. Using a TM like that one there lets you teach your Pokemon some new moves quicker than a shutter set to 1-1000 can snap shut. Listen, you're speaking camera right now, and I don't speak camera, so there's no reason for me to even read your dialogue. It's just, it's not even worth my time. I might as well be reading a Spanish textbook. Um, so she's letting us know that we could just take the stairs to get out of here, and that is going to bring us to the end of episode two. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure you leave a like rating, leave a comment down below about the... Clearing out roots if you guys would rather see a montage of that as opposed to me actually doing it live. Me personally, I am leaning more towards doing it just live because it's a, honestly it's a little less work with editing and also gives me time to just talk to you guys and you guys enjoy some battles, hear some commentary, etc, etc. Have yourselves a good day, but above all else, keep it shady.